Uh, this is Benjamin Oberman from Film Festival Flicks here at the NoHo Cinefest, and I'm here with Michael Darling. Uh, I, I'm guessing that because you said you're Katie's brother, who's the, the lady behind the festival. Um, but you're a filmmaker, and you had a film here, so tell me about your film, Michael. It's called Soliloquy. It's a short film, about 10 minutes long. Um, and it's about a hitman who has to kill someone that he knows, who's a friend of his, um, and kind of how that goes down. And um, he, as she dies, talks about... Um, alternate realities and what if you make different choices and things like that. So, it's a so where did the film come from? Um, a good friend of mine who I've made a couple of other films with, uh, Zach Canonis, he wrote it um, and directed it and the two of us pr produced it. And, and he's, the hit, he's a hitman in real life and had to kill someone he knew and just thought, oh wow, this experience would make a great film. Yeah, yeah, he's writing from his real life. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's how it all is. It's like everybody writes from real. Nobody makes it up. Um, but. Uh, now what, now, what was your role? Did you direct it, DP it? Uh, I'm the DP, editor, and producer. Wow, okay, so a, a whole lot of things. So, um, in, work, in working with the acting, like that, where were some of the, bit, the hardest choices in deciding where realistically the story should go? Um, well, most of that went um, to Zach, because he was the director. Um, but uh, for me, the, the hardest thing as far as the acting was, was concerned was being able to like interestingly show the action of the of the scenes as the as the DP, um, there's a there's a scene where um, the female lead, who's actually Katie by the way, uh, is uh, she's in the foreground and she's in I I put her in shadow so she's totally in silhouette almost and but she's what's in focus and the uh, the hitman is out of focus in the background kind of watching her as she's cleaning up before he's going to kill her um, and uh, so. I chose that because she, she's about to die, so I put her in, in the dark, but she's really the emotional like, action of that scene, so it was kind of a risky choice for me, because <laughs> you know, she's supposed to be carrying the emotion of that scene, and you can't really see her. So um, fortunately, I think it worked out, um, and, it, and it hits pretty well. But Well, that's great, and, and so it would be great if everybody could come tomorrow night, but if they can't, how can people see your film? I mean, we're going to be festivaling it, and eventually it'll end up on YouTube. Um, but uh, if you go to um, wildwallpictures.com, um, look for updates. Uh, I'll, uh, it'll, you know, the updates will be up there. Great. Well, congratulations and good luck with it, and it was nice talking to you. Right. Nice talking to you too. For free films and exclusive invites, join our email list at filmfestivalflix.com forward slash email. And follow us on social media with Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. In your home or on the go, we bring the festival to you.